विजिट माई वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट लर्न अभी डॉट कॉम और डाउनलोड अवर एंड्रॉइड एप्लीकेशन नेटवर्किंग प्लस एंड प्रैक्टिस नेटवर्किंग क्विज इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड मेनी मोर फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन चेक द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन बिलो हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अभी सिक्योर एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टेक्निकल टैग लेट्स डी टैग बिगिन In this video, I am going to show you how to configure SSH in a router with the help of Packet Tracer. But before that, let's understand what is SSH and what are its functions. See, guys, SSH stands for Secure Cell, which uses the port number 22. SSH is just similar to Telnet because, as like Telnet, even SSH also allows you to take a remote connection of a device. available in a network but as compared to telnet the ssh is more secure because it establishes an encrypt connection so this is the basic function of ssh now how to configure ssh in a router let's find out in this video i am going to show you the basic ssh configuration for this reason i have taken the four devices that is one router one switch and two pc which are connected to each other so let's configure this router now so as of now as you can see i have not done any settings on this particular router so first of all let's assign the ip address on this particular port so this is a first ethernet port so let's get into the global configuration mode run the command int f 0 by 0 for selecting the first ethernet port and let's add the ip address here as 10.0.0.1 enter the subnet mask which is 255.0.0.0 hit enter run the command no start to enable this port done now let's exit from here and get into the global configuration mode again now see guys we have successfully added the ip address now the next step is we have to configure the host name and the domain name okay so let's run the command host name space enter the host name see guys host name means your router name so as of now the router name is router itself okay so let's change this name to r1 okay hit enter so as you can see the router name has been successfully changed to r1 now the next step is let's change the domain name so the command is ip domain hyphen name space enter the domain name so here i am going to enter the domain name as www.learnabhi.com see guys this is my website name and it is easy to remember for this reason i have assigned this particular name if you want you can also give your name okay now hit enter so we have successfully configured host name and the domain name Now the next step is let's configure the VTY connection. So run the command line space VTY space question mark. So it will tell you how many VTY connections are available on this particular router. So as you can see it is 0 to 15 means total 16 VTY connections are available on this particular router. See guys VTY connection means how many devices can access this particular router. at a single time this is called vty connection so if you want you can allow total 16 devices to access this router remotely in the same time okay so just i want to allow all the 16 devices to access this router at the same time so here i am going to enter the command line vty space 0 space 15 okay means all 16 devices can access this particular router and hit enter done now run the command login space local hit enter and now it's time to enable the ssh connection so for this run the command transport space input space ssh and hit enter so we have successfully enabled ssh on this particular router now let's exit from here now the next step is we have to generate a rsa key okay which is used for encryption purpose so for this run the command crypto space key space generate 
space R S A and hit enter. So as you can see, we have successfully generated the RSA key, and this RSA key includes your host name and your domain name. Got it? So for this reason, it is highly recommended before configuring SSH, you must configure the host name and the domain name because it go it is going to include on your RSA key name. Got it? Now see, once you generate the RSA, it is going to ask you the number of bits in the modules. So the more number of bits you will give here means your connection will be more secure. So the number you can give in the range of 360 to 2048. So between this you can give any number. So for example, I'm going to give the number as 1024 and hit enter. So guys, we have successfully configured the SSH on this particular router. Now the last and the final step is create a username and password which will be used for login purpose. Okay, so for this run the command username space. So here I am going to enter my name that is Abhishek space password. And I'm going to enter the password as one, two, three, four, five, and hit enter. So we have successfully created a username and the password. Now let's get back to the computer and let's find out whether these PCs are able to access this router via SSH connection or not. So I'm going to select the PC number one. So here run the command SSH space hyphen L space enter the username so the username is abhishek space enter the ip address of this particular router so the ip address is 10.0.0.1 and hit enter so guys as here you can see now it is asking for the password so what password did we give in this router it is one two three four five and hit enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and hit enter. Why oh, it is not able to log in? So due to some errors, we are unable to log in to this particular router. So let's find out what exactly the mistake we are doing here. Okay, so for this I'm going to select this router again. So see guys, here we have given the username as Abhishek where the E is capital letter. Okay. So now let's retry to log in by giving this particular name with the caps lock on. SSH hyphen L space Abhishek space standard 0.0.1 .0 hit enter. Now let's give the password as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and hit enter. And as you can see right now, I am easily able to log in to this router number 1. Make sure guys the username is a case sensitive. If you given the username in capital letter then make sure you have to enter the username in capital letter only. Okay. So now I am successfully able to log into this router. So let's run the command show interface hit enter. So as you can see it is showing you the status of this particular router and it says the first Ethernet port status is up and it is assigned with the IP address 10.0.0.1 got it so like this you can easily configure SSH on a router now let's try to access the SSH connection from the PC number 2 so again run the command SSH space hyphen L space enter the username which is Abhishek so A is in capital letter and enter the IP address. So IP address is 10.0.0.1 hit enter. Now enter the password which is 12345 hit enter and that's all. So as you can see we are logged into this router number 1. So guys this is how easily you can configure SSH in a router. So guys hope you have enjoyed watching this video then please like share and leave your valuable feedback in the comment section below and if you want to take a note of all this important command you can directly take a note from my website www.learnabhi.com or from my android application networking plus 
all the important links are given in the description section below and with that if you are new to this channel then click here to subscribe it right now for more videos thanks for watching